Okay, now that we have a good understanding of what exactly dynamic DNS is, let's get started by actually creating an account for ourselves at DynDNS. So here we are, and we want to go to remotely access my home computer. Then we want to go to their free dynamic DNS service. Then we want to go to get started. And from here, it's really simple. We simply choose an account number for ourselves and hope that it's still available. And we can change the domain name, too, if we want. And the service type that we want is host with IP address, which is simply a standard host that resolves to an IP address. And assuming we're connected to the Internet with the router whose external IP address we want to use, we can just simply select this, and it auto-detects our present IP address. And then down here we can select the purposes that we plan on using this host name for. And uh, my assumption is that this will basically sort of optimize our connection for us. I'm not really sure what this does, but I selected it anyway. And then simply add to cart. And of course it's saying that this host name already exists because I actually I've already created this host for the purposes of this video. So what happens next is it will ask us to create a username and password for ourselves that we can use to log on to the site. And this is also the username and password that we'll be putting into our router. Now we fill in our email address so they can send all this information back to us. So once you have an account you can simply log in go to account and check my hosts and as you can see for purposes of this video I've already created a Wi-Fi whiz host name we click on here and once we're in here we can just change any of this any of these settings okay well at this point we should have enough information to go ahead and set up dynamic DNS into our router So let's scroll down through here and find Dynamic DNS. And there it is. And it's a simple matter of enabling the updater. And DynDNS.org is already an option, or is actually the only option. And our host name is Wi Fi Wiz DynDNS.tv. And our username and our password. And Dynamic DNS is now set up on our router. This router even has a handy dandy little utility to show us the update status of our account. And we get this little pop up informing us that our host name at this IP address has been successfully updated today.